Well, g'day, g'day, and welcome back again to Jiao Ching. And today we are out, we're out near the Inkstone Museum, and we're actually with uh, one of the girls from the English Corner. Her family are involved in creating Inkstone. So we're going to go have a look in her shop. Then she's going to take us up to the museum, give us a look up through the museum and also to a, another workshop where they create some of this inkstone stuff. So this is their shop here. Um, we are out sort of out in the eastern end of the city and we're going to head inside here and have a look at what we can see. So come for a walk and a little explore with us. Okay, so as we head inside here, uh, which way are we going to go? We'll go, we'll go around to our left here first. So this is some of the uh, work that these guys create. It's absolutely beautiful. Then we have some just raw inkstone that's been left as it is. And then as we look around, the different colours and stuff is amazing. What is this here? Is this inkstone as well? That's crystal. Okay, so it's not inkstone. Not everything in here is inkstone. But look at this. This dragon and fish. So, who makes this stuff? Is it your mum makes this? No, it's other master. Okay, so your mum's more sales, yeah. not actually no. creation. Yes. Okay. Cool. And then as we look around the other side here, there's heaps of stuff. So lots of these type of uh, ink wells for doing Chinese calligraphy sort of stuff. Um, a little bowl. Would that be used for ink as well? Or is that would that be used for ink or is that yes. for something else? Yes. Okay, so a big deep, deep bowl. And then one that I did want to show you, have a look at this. So this is just a block of the ink stain with this gorgeous carving on it. Absolutely spectacular. So what would something like this cost? Yeah, how much? <laughs> not sure we'll try and find out so this is Christy's mum here and then yeah oh yeah of course underneath we have this writing under here so what's written under here is this like a story or is that a history of something or it's um, poetry poetry yeah. okay and all the sides have this beautiful carving on. It's absolutely gorgeous. Four thousand? Four ten thousand? Fourteen thousand. Wow, that's just so beautiful. Okay, and then as we carry on through, so uh, we'll have a look up on this side actually before we uh, before we head through to the back. So another look at these fish and things on here. Absolutely beautiful. So much great artwork here. Oh, look at this one. The uh, detail. I mean, you can sort of see the size of my finger here. So you can see how small the details go. We've got, yeah, it's just absolutely amazing. And then as we head out towards the back of the building, we have through here, oh, here looks like stuff that's sort of half built. It's not finished yet, but on the way. So what? So from this, what do they do? Polish it up? That's not ready to sell yet. What's... Uh, they need to use 
use like your massage, yeah. Like use use this to make it more smooth. Okay, yeah. and get it all polished up and looking nice. So that's sort of halfway through, and then out the back here, we have. So here's the inkstone in its sort of raw state. So where does the inkstone come from? Uh, this is a hybrid. It's a sunshine bean from my from the mountains. From the mountains. Uh, the the people collect from the mountains and we buy them. We might buy them from there. Oh, we got more around here, have we? Oh, so yeah, stacks of it down here. Wow, such beautiful stuff. And then coming through to the back here, we have a bit more stuff. So we have this big table. So this would be used for tea. Um, we can see we've got a uh, little drain hole down here for spillage. Mm -hmm. We also have some tiny ones. I guess it's a uh, smaller... Oh, smaller model down yeah. here. We have some smaller than that. What a way to... In Australia, we just drink tea at a normal table. <laughs> yeah. This is, that is special. absolutely stunning. That's beautiful. So what, where would these be used? Would these be like used for businesses mainly? Um, it depends on people. Some people would bring it at home or business place. Depending on how much yeah. money they have. Yeah. So how much would something like this cost? Twenty thousand RMB. So, for those of you who are in Australia, we're looking around four thousand Australian dollars, and it looks absolutely stunning. Any idea how long would it take to build something like this? How long? Yeah, to make this. That must be weeks. <laughs> If one uh, the worker to make it, and it it takes one month. So okay, so one if one person's working one month to do this, so yeah, that's that's a lot of work in there. And then around here we have more of the uh, ink wells along here, and then up the back we have this piece that I love this just a big piece of rock with this carving carved into it absolutely beautiful and then the other thing that we have up the back actually no before we go on to the other stuff that happens here we'll have a look at these few that are so these ones come in these cases which look really nice really beautiful cases and then beautiful, beautiful carving all the way through here. Absolutely gorgeous. And then the other thing that we have here is Christie's also, so you're at university. I, uh, I work in school before, teach like primary school. Okay, so you teach art. Yeah. I also teach them uh, something. I create a classes about art, uh, about inkstone. So this is the make my students uh, paint. They design the patterns. Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, so. So the students actually make designs as yeah. well. That's cool. Because it's hard for it's hard for them to make uh, the whole work, the whole the whole stone. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> much so easier on paper to yeah. at least give them an idea. Yeah, and they also use like this uh, very very uh, slight uh, materials. 
Oh, it's like, it's like a foam type of material. Oh, here we go. Air dry clay. Okay, yeah. I've not played with that before. So that's what you make these ones out yes, of. Yes, the same materials. So yeah, that's yeah. a bit bendy, nice mm -hmm. and soft for the kids to play with. So you were saying this back room uh, you want to turn into a studio for you as well. So you're going to bring kids in here to do artwork? I want. I want to. That's a good idea. To let them to try different art and to try like create some new things about Inkstone. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Nice. So also in here we have these crystals down here which are gorgeous where do they do they find these with the inkstone is that why you have these here yeah. no because just because i like crystal okay it's <laughs> more for you than for the shop yeah. and then these ones here so we can actually see we can take the top off here this is the original rock and then opened up and displayed like this. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so it's a cool little shop. I've, um, yeah, it's somewhere I'm going to have to buy some ink stone sometime and try and make something one of these days. It's very cool. Um, okay, so we're going to leave you there. We'll come back with you at our next stop. So stick around, more to come. Okay, so we're now going in to have a look at another studio. So on our way here, Christy was telling me there's four big families who make or sort of are famous for the ink stone here in Jiaqing. This family, the uh, what would you call it? The father or mother? Who was father. the father actually went to school with Christy's mum, was Christy's classmate, and then their son here is was Christie's classmate and yeah when Christie's mum decided to get into inkstone they sort of reconnected again so down here we have a couple of young guys who are just learning so this is sort of very early stages of learning how to do inkstone and we can see it's very very much a hand operated thing there's no machinery or anything and we see in here so it's just tapping and chipping so i guess i guess this stone is fairly soft mm. it's not really hard stone if they can just chip it like yeah. that it's not very hard you you can also try Oh, I'll have a try. Yeah, uh, you can try in uh, the, the classroom. Oh, oh, there's a classroom in yeah. here. Okay. Because this is the place for uh, study tour. Okay, learning. Come to learn. Excellent. Okay, yeah, well, the let's... We have the museum uh, here. It's from the 4123. It's a museum for visiting. Oh, okay. Then they will try to make it or design in the building okay so three floors of museum and then manufacture up on the fourth floor yeah. all right so stepping inside here oh get out of that rain because it is raining out there dry the feet okay as we walk in here oh wow look at some of this stuff so look at this huge big drum here this is extraordinary what is the writing on the side here? It's, um, it's the same character, means show. Show means uh, can live, live long. Okay. Wow, that's extraordinary. And then, okay, we'll start around this side. Have a look around this way. So, this is a different kind of stone. There. It's from different places. Okay, so each different colour sort of comes from a it's different place. A map. Oh, okay. It's a map from 
the stone, uh, different stone, come from? So, where is this? This is somewhere near Jiaqing? Yeah, this is Jiaqing because the stone from Jiaqing, it can only uh, name Duan Ying Stone. This, this is the city of ah, Duan. Okay. Yeah. Trying to... So where... Where would this be? I'm yeah, trying to... Here. Okay, so that's Duan Zhou. Village. Is this the name of this village? Okay. That's an amazing piece of artwork. And then as we look down here, look at that. This is Qixingyan, Seven Star Crag. Oh, over here. Okay, Seven Star Crag's over there. So let me just try and get some bearings. So where would Dinghu Mountain be? Is that on here? Ah, oh, up here. So that's Dinghu. So yeah, so this is all the Jiaqing region. And, oh, look at this. So this is... So this is wooden. Look at that character on there. That looks really cool. So is this made here as well, the wood one? Or do they make... Does that come from somewhere else? No, but they just make it like uh, decorate. Okay, so it's not a local thing. Yeah. The colours on this just extraordinary. Beautiful piece of work. And then we have more of the raw inkstone over here. Mm, they said uh, this free... Uh, uh, this free is different kind of stone, but they are like the top three of all the inkstone. The best yeah, you types. Can, you, can, you can touch it. Okay, let's go have a look what it feels like. So when when you buy inkstone, mm -hmm. uh, like for your shop to make stuff, mm -hmm. do you buy inkstone of a certain size because you know what you want to make, or do you get inkstone and you look at it and go, oh, this is this big, we could make this kind of thing um, not sure. or a bit of both the original uh, the original one is like this side this this side yeah and, and then you cut it cut and, it up yeah and uh, he said this part of stone is they cut it and make it beautiful then it will like this ah so when you're buying it you can sort of have a look at what it looks like on the inside you cannot see it but um, uh, the master, they have experience. They can, they can guess. They can look at it yeah. and sort of know. When they see this, they, they can, they can guess. Uh, when it make into a uh, artwork, it will look like this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're really nice. Okay. Moving around. If we go look around the other end here. We will actually, we might drop my umbrella down here at the door entrance so that I'm not carrying my umbrella around. If we have a look around on this side, so here we have a fish pond. So, how's this for a place to keep your fish? That's. So left very natural, just the uh, just the rock showing through, but then beautiful home for your fish. Is that a, oh. Hello. Oh. What's your hey. Oh, he, she is his wife. Oh, okay. Hello. And um, he said 
this is the whole the, the whole stone is so big and they usually just use the the hurt of this stone. Yeah. To make it um, like um, like the artwork of the middle of this to make it uh, a artwork and then you think it's a west because it only used the heart of it and then other things they, they make it like for fish. Yeah, okay. So the good part of the ink stains on the inside, yeah. they take that out yeah. to work with and then use the shell, yeah. find other uses. Oh. No, well, that's a lot of rock to be throwing away. And then, and then this all. Is for the of ink oh, okay. So this is all old stuff. Front we can't styles. see years down there. So different dynasties, different styles. Ah, yes. oh, here we go. So 1300. Is that the year 1300? Yeah, before. Before 1300. Uh, what can we see written on this one? Nothing. No numbers there. The Song. Song Dynasty. Tang Dynasty. Okay. So Tang Dynasty. Song Dynasty. Also Song Dynasty, so yeah, a lot of, oh, and this must be showing the different styles for the different, different shapes. just different shapes that they use, okay. Oh, and here we have some pictures of stuff being made. So is this where they cut the ink stone? Yeah. Wow, bare feet. So there's lots to see. And then through here we have more museum exhibits, which we'll go and have a look at in... Actually, we'll go in there now. We'll come back and we'll have a look at these musical instruments. Who plays, who plays the musical instruments? His sister. Because they're cool. I want to buy one of them. <laughs> I love them things. So looking through in here, prohibition of chasing, beware of the glass. So we have more sort of inkwell sort of stuff down this side. This is old, this one. It's the oldest one. The oldest one. Yeah. Okay, so how... And then over the other side here, we can see some of the tools and chisels. Oh, I said, uh, oh, here one we are. of the big families of making ink stones, so this is their... Uh, like a family history? Yes, yes. yes. So from uh, Hunan, from the Song Dynasty to now, it's from the Song Dynasty. To now, to now, and this is this name is his father's name. Okay, so, and this is all grandparents, great grandparents. <laughs> so we can see how far back these guys go. And if we look on here, we can actually see the years yes. 1367. So his family goes right back to like this time. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a long time doing the same thing. Yeah, my. Uh, I could trace my family back to my grandparents. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and yet here we're going back, what's that? 1126, so what, 900 years ago. That's not a bad, not a bad reference. Okay, and looking over here, we have some of the tools that we use. So different sort of shaped chisels hammers or mallets i'm not sure what they would refer them to probably a mallet okay 
So there's lots and lots of old. Are these like instructions for making inkstone or something? Um, that is a. Oh, handwriting test paper. Okay. I just. <laughs> I just watched a video on WeChat of children doing homework from a student from, I can't remember how old it was, it was like 900 years ago. They found this old homework and gave the children the same homework today. And it was saying, so looking at these photos, it was saying in this video that the children back then, one of the things they were complaining about was having too much homework. <laughs> it's the same thing that children complain about today. Yeah. And then lots more old. Um, this, he said many years ago, so many Japanese brought the ink stone from China, and then uh, after many years, they, we brought them back. Ah, oh, so these Japan. have been to Japan yeah. and then come back. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's nice to see like artwork <laughs> go back to where it belongs. I yeah. know uh, if you look in the Oh, I'm not sure which museum it is, but one of the museums in England, they've got lots of stuff that they've taken from Africa, from the Middle East, from Australia, uh, probably from China, that they really should be returning to their rightful, rightful owners. It's... Um, so, oh, what have we got over here? The master is also from his family. His men, like uh, they have many people, and this is their artwork. Okay, so it doesn't tell us when also that was. His grand grandfather. Wow, so much history in here. So, what would be the oldest? piece they've got here. What's the oldest piece of ink stone in here? Go back to so uh, no specific time. Okay. Uh, just for a generation, just for the. Um, so are these all family members. Yes. This is youngest generation. The new crew. It's. Pretty amazing. And then looking over here. This is a Chinese This too is the, the most famous um, art, art artist in this family. Uh, Recently. So are they still alive? Uh, this is my father. No, no. My father is still alive now. Okay, so what was he born in 1922? Yeah. This is my father's father. Died in 2004? Uh, Down the bottom there? No, no, no. No? It, it just he. he uh, oh, a ward. Okay. And then this one, does it have the year he was born in? I've got 1983, 1994, no, no. no, nothing like that. He didn't mention. 
So yeah, there's lots and lots of history to be seen in this place. So you mentioned that there's four big families in Jiaqing. Do all of the families have a museum like this? Mm -hmm. They, uh, he said, they they have other family. They have uh, their own museum, but maybe not so professional. Not as big as this one, because this is this is this is pretty amazing to have to be able to have so much of your family history displayed like this is incredible. <laughs> And then over here we have a lot more of the sort of raw ink stone stuff. And this, this, this oh. one is the owner of this uh, museum. It's his father. Okay, uh, so this is your mum's classmate. What's the photo up here? Is that all inkstone people? Uh, it's in print and two hundred and nine. Who are they? Just, just masters. They're it's only their family. Inkstone masters. Yeah. So many of them. All right, well, we're going to take you now to the next part of our little tour here. Stick around. Okay, so we're now up on the second floor of their building here. We'll have a quick look around some of the uh, pieces here. So here we have, this is the uh, Olympic Stadium in Beijing, made out of inkstone and it looks absolutely brilliant. Then around to our left, we have very similar to that drum looking thing that we saw as we first came in, but a smaller version of it. And it looks absolutely stunning. Very, very beautiful. And then moving around to our left, we have more of these ink wells. And Christy was just saying that these over here are sort of based on nature. So this here is a sort of representation of a bamboo shoot. So the inkwell inside and then we have the top here. So that'll sit, that'll sit on top here when it's not in use. And then the same here. Oh wow, I'll get a little lizard on the top of this one. That's pretty cool. And then the ducks. So it looks like a mother duck with little baby ducks. Oh, and the mother duck's got a worm that he, she's caught. Must be ready to feed the children. And then we have snails. So yeah, a lot of, oh, Wow, look at this piece here. Look at this box. With these awesome characters around the outside. And then this writing on the top. Stunning piece. And then, yeah, we have a uh, heap of stuff up here, a lot more stuff. We won't be able to check it all out, but we'll carry on down this way and have a look at what else we've got in here. So another thing that you'll often find in places like this is these uh, chairs made out of these amazing carvings. There's they make these in Jiaqing, don't they? 
I'm sure I've seen somewhere making this sort of stuff somewhere. But I think there's a place out in the west that makes this sort of stuff. They do the carving. It's yeah, of course, it's, uh, it's his father's uh, studio. His father arranged the chairs and things. So maybe they are not sure where is it from. <laughs> but That's amazing. Okay, and then we'll move around further around to our right here and have a look. We have another part of the museum in here. Oh, what have we got here? A sort of history and stuff. His father. And this is some introductions of Instagram. This is the the map. Oh, that's the map that we saw downstairs. Yes. And this is different, like patterns, like eyes, and other patterns of the instrument. Okay. Yeah. This is how they make. This is oh, so that's them the digging the inkstone up. Yeah. But most of the uh, the because they need to go to a hole, like, um, to make it. Yeah, uh, it's cave very, it's, underground. It's very dangerous. So the government not allowed people to, uh, to grab the stones now. So you have to be like an official yeah, mining can. company or something. Yeah. Yeah. This is, he said he can uh, give you to have a look, like as a gift. This, oh. this is his father's. Uh, uh, this So the map again. Oh, no. oh, so this is all some of his artwork. Yeah, artwork is all from his father. How how the stone make design, and uh, you can see the. This is your father. Uh, not this. This is Le Manguin. Le Manguin. Uh, and he co co uh, collaborates with other art artist in our in here to make this like a whole artwork okay this poetry this is this is use some paper to to make um, the patterns of the stone into the paper oh so so they make the stone first yes and then print it on the yeah. paper. Yes, and not paint. Um, it's copy. How do copy? I, I will show you later. Oh, I think is that like you put it on top of the stone yes. and then and and yeah and mix some ink. There. Okay. Mm. All right. You'll show us later how they do that. That's cool. Oh, that's awesome. I'll be very, very, very thankful. Oh. His father's um, make it. Uh, this is the first artwork of his father. In when his father is uh, age twelve. Twelve years old, and doing. Oh, look at the. I don't know how well we can see this in the camera, but there's some really fine artwork in the back of here. Mm. It's very hard to see. We'll try and edit that so we can make it a bit brighter but that's so 12 years old making that <laughs> that's incredible okay let's have a look around in here so again lots more different artwork like that is why i said uh, the copy copy the patterns the pictures of the instrument Ah, and this is, so this is the stone, and then up here they've, 
done, which we'll see how they do that later on. Because, we'll, uh, because, um, because the, the ink stone is colored um, black, it's very hard to see the pictures, the patterns. Yeah. Then if you make it uh, on the paper, you can see more clearly. Makes it easier to, to see. Yeah, I can see that. That's pretty cool. So, so if anybody's coming to Jiaqing, is this place open any time for people to visit, or is it only certain times of the day? Or we, rec we recommend people they can go like with a group. Yeah. Yeah, a group then come here and they can also try how to make it. All right, I might. Before we go, we'll get details of how people contact so that I can put that onto the video and uh, yeah, so if anybody's interested in coming and having a look here, they can because it's worth to have a visit. Ah, it is. I mean, I, uh, it'd probably be much easier for somebody who speaks Chinese. But even me, not knowing Chinese, just coming and seeing some of this stuff okay, is amazing. If foreigners come here, we can just like invite uh, like translator. We'll get the English corner to come down. Yeah. We should have had yes. the we should yes. have had the whole English corner come wow. today. We could have had a really good outing. We can make a activities. Mm. Activities. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, in here. So yeah, if if you're a foreigner and you want to come and have a look at this stuff. Get in contact with me, and we'll uh, we'll organise someone who can come and translate for you. And because uh, it is, oh look at this! So this is like this. Everyone can can try this kind of art. Everyone, like kids. Yeah. Other people, if they don't have so many time to. So it, um, here we have a good example. Try which as you can see it's really hard to see the artwork in there but then when we pan up here so we can see this has been worked on we can see the outline of where it was fixed around the uh, around the piece and then the artwork in it it looks amazing it is it's, it's an amazing place goodness me so yeah, you know the the big museum up the road. I actually tried to. I was I was going to go in there and do a video, but they said no, no, you're not allowed to video. Oh, so I didn't actually go in. I've, so I've not actually seen a museum like this. I don't know why. Is it the Museum of Inkstone? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, I don't know why. It was probably just somebody on the door who was I don't know. Maybe they were new and they didn't know the rules or something. I could see no reason why they wouldn't let somebody video in there. Last time I went there, I just took many pictures of it. So this piece here is actually sort of an important piece. We can see all these, so they're called eyes in here, all the different colored stone throughout. Mm -hmm. And these are really popular for people to work with because as you can see, if you've got an eye here, you can actually create the artwork around the eyes and then looking up the top. So this has got lots of them through, through the stone. It looks absolutely stunning. Beautiful piece of work. Okay, so we are now up in the factory area here. And from my understanding, what happens is the stone basically works its way around the room. So here is sort of the raw inkstone up here where they will sort of carve it into shape and then using pen here they will actually draw the artwork onto the stone and you can see there's little imperfections in the stonework. So they actually use that as part of the design so they work around that and incorporate the design into that. Um, yeah, it's pretty amazing. So the father of the young guy here does a lot of that work. Um, and then they'll also sort of chip in the fine lines. So sort of the basic 
outline of the design. And then we come around to this side where we go into more detail. So we see this guy here with his phone on his back so he can listen to whatever he's listening to. But much more detail. We can see an extractor fan up here to take the dust and everything away from, from where he's working. It's such a long, long process. And then once it's finished here, it will get moved around to this side where we get a lot more fine detail is done in the artwork. So, yeah, it's pretty amazing. So what Christy was just telling me was those two guys that we saw early downstairs will work down there for two years before they sort of are experienced enough to come up and actually work in here. And these guys are associated with Jiaqing University. So, uh, so yeah, a lot of Jiaqing University students who are learning this stuff will come up. And then once the sort of all the details been done, this is where they come to get polished up and all the finishing touches put in. And I imagine once they finish here, they can go down to the shop to be sold. Oh, there's more to do after this. Yes, they still have. Uh, what do say? They still have something to do. There's still more to do. Okay, we'll look at that when we get there. Yeah. Polish. No. <laughs> Just use like use the, like the candle. Oh, candle wax. It's, it's in downstairs. Okay. The last stage is downstairs. Uh, they use the can. Uh, they use the candle to 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 grab the candle uh, in, in 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 over it over the stones. This is the last step. Okay. Final finishing. Yeah, okay. All right, we'll... Are you recording? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna have a try here now. So this, so we're putting, basically wetting this stone and we're just rubbing over the, over the ink stone to get it smooth. I can feel a bump right about here somewhere. Oh. So, yeah, okay, and there's another bump right about here that we would want to get nice and smooth. It's, uh, how long would she work to... Different kind of uh, this this. Ah, so they like sandpaper. You have different grades. So so you'd start with a rough one, and then use a smaller. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So do they do this until it's all, because as I rub this, when I get to here, I can feel a bump. So are they trying to work until you can't feel that bump anymore? Yes. Okay, because right there, there's a bump. Because this, this part is for, um, is to make it more smooth. So when you put it, so when you put it on a table, it doesn't go rock, 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 rock. Yeah, yeah okay. Well, that's a... Uh... Well, that's... Okay, I can feel that getting smoother already. 
So it doesn't take very long. A bit of a bump right there. And I would guess, just by watching the lady over there, that you really want to be doing over the whole length of the rock because if you try and just polish out one piece, you're probably creating a problem elsewhere. That is feeling already much smoother than it was when we started. If we go at a slightly different angle. Okay, right in the middle here, I can feel something that feels a bit rougher. Okay. I might, see when you touch that with your hands, it feels totally smooth. But then when you go over it with the rock, you can feel those little, tiny little grooves in different places. Okay, we might leave that for the professionals because I don't want to mess anything up and break something. But yeah, it's a uh, interesting, interesting little process. And she wears gloves. I didn't get any gloves. <laughs> oh, we got a towel down the back. Okay. Okay, so now we're looking at how we make the ink. So we put a little bit of water on that stone and then using this piece of stone here, we rub that and it just rubs off into the water. And you can try. And from there, okay, how's that feel? It's very, very light. And then from there, we can see the ink coming out into the bottom. If we go a little bit wider. And then that's what they used to write with. Uh, the, pen, the brush, the pen. How much? How much? How much? Not enough. Not enough? More? We'll keep going. Okay, and then, yeah. then we take one of these brushes and can we write on here? Okay. Yes. Okay, so we take a brush like this, collect up a bit of the ink, and what can I write? I'll write my Anything. name. Wow, it's weird writing with a brush. <laughs> it is very strange when you're used to sort of biros and pencils. Writing with a brush, yeah, it's a strange, strange feeling. Um, do you want to write something? You're an artist. Yeah, but I'm not good at it. Yeah. Maybe, maybe my classmates made me homework as the I love. <laughs> okay, let's see how they use this brush here. Also, they get a lot more paint than I got. And then the brush is... Okay, so we're using a lot, so I was just using the bristles at the end of the brush, but we can see down here is actually using right up to the side of the brush as well. And uh, that's why I'm not an artist.
And there we go. So what does this say? Um, good fortune. Okay, good fortune. So is that what was written on the drum down the bottom? Out the front? No. no. Oh, that was something that's different. A, that's for uh, long, live long. Oh, live long. Okay, slightly different. Okay. So these ink sticks that we use to make the ink down here, so these are used or made by different herbs, uh, different plant material, which is burnt, and then the ashes are, I guess, pressed together to make these ink sticks, and then add water, rub them onto the uh, stone to use as ink. It's, uh, so these come from, where did you say? An Anhui. Anhui. Uh, which is another province north of here, mm. Anhui. Yeah, I think it's up near it's, it's near Hunan, isn't it? I can't remember where that is. Okay, so from the workshop over here, we come through this way, and in here we have a classroom where students can come and actually learn the craft. So we see a projector up the top here. I imagine they can project things. And then, so what students come here? Is this students from the university come here? Um, anyone. Anybody? From school or other, um, other places. They, if they, they want to learn, they can come. Yeah, okay. So we have small yeah. pieces down here yeah. for students to work with. We will give some uh, a piece of the sink stone to them and they can like use pencil to draw what they want to make they just uh, draw the pictures like like two flowers sorry i can't <laughs> do so beautiful in a short time and then we will give them yamoto okay looking for the knife. We use the knife and mix it like this. And that creates yeah, this sort of thing. It. So that, yeah. okay, you can feel. So it's only, it's only going into the stone maybe half a millimeter. It's tiny, but enough. Yeah. And then once they've done, once you get to this stage, this is when you then move on to that First guy where the guy was working to... Uh, oh, they just sit here to make... Oh, no, no, not here, but I'm talking like this is like... Oh. This is the stage that was up, nah, the first it. stage that we saw. No, that's oh, the two okay. guys make it. <laughs> oh, so, oh, so this is the, even earlier, the two guys downstairs that we saw early. If you do want to try, I can give one of the stone you... Or we can... Okay, we can give it a try. Yeah. I should sit down then. Okay. Let's sit down at a table. Okay, and then we'll give the phone back to Christy. So this is our tool here that we're going to use, which is not going to focus on very well. Okay, but we just get ourselves organized here. Oh, we've got fans going on. It is a bit warm in here. Actually, we can go. And... Okay, pencil to draw something. Yeah. All right, what am I gonna draw? I can't draw anything. I'm a terrible, terrible artist. Um, What could I draw? I don't know what to draw. What about just a star? We'll just try and do a star here because a star's relatively simple for me. Okay. 
Oh wow, and yeah, okay. You've got to get the right angle to be able to see it. Oh, it's a star. Can you see that in the picture? Yes. yes. Okay. And then we... I couldn't draw that. <laughs> Paper that okay, they to put on the fans. Yes. So, so this is, so yeah, copy of the ink stain wood and then glued onto a wooden fan. It's very nice. Yeah. Oh, and is this a, like a postcard? Yes. To send, okay, so postcard to uh, send to people. So we have the design on the front and then on the back we can see space to write a little letter space for a stamp. It's very cool. Okay, so let's try and carve out this stone. So what I'm using the pointy end like that or are we more like Okay. Middle finger pushing down to Ah, it's a two hands. Okay, let's give it a bash. So, middle finger, thumb on there, and then we're trying to push. Okay. And then, oh, that line's hard to see, the light. Okay. Right there. Where's my line? There it is. And back to the last one. Oh, we've got a little piece we've missed. Gotta do it right. And there we go. I'm a master. <laughs> wow, that'd be, I mean, Ah, oh, so that, I can feel that in there, but I can imagine how long it would take to actually do something artistic. Yeah. I mean, mind-boggling. Yeah, it's very hard for um, a beginner, <laughs> but if they work for long, after a few years, they will find this is more easier, then maybe they can, like, this little piece, they can just do it by one to three days, it's okay. <laughs> one to three days, yes. oh. But it's not, it's not easy for the point. That's why I couldn't be an ink stone artist. One to three days, no, I couldn't focus for that long, it's, I get. It's, very, it's a short time. <laughs> yeah, it's a short time. It's all it. relevant. <laughs> wow, that's, yeah. Um, Excellent. So that's a look around the Ingstone village here. Um, one other thing I did want to mention, there are several different areas where they get different type of Ingstone. They come in different colors. So you get the greens, yellows, uh, more ready, uh, got it. Um, but the Jiaqing Ingstone is known as the best. It's easiest to work with. It's a little bit softer, more malleable. So yeah, the Jiaqing Inkstone is the best to uh, work with. So Jiaqing, very, very well known for its Inkstone products. And 
Yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed that little look around. There are four big, big sort of master families here in Jiaqing. Where we've just been is one of those families. Uh, maybe one day we'll go and have a look at the others and see what, what else happens here. But we'd also like to thank Christy here. Come and say hello, Christy. Uh, Christy's part of our English Corner and also a budding young artist. Uh, yeah, she's helped us out do all this stuff today. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Stay safe, and we will see you... Oh, no, before we finish, if you've enjoyed that, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, share with friends. Questions and comments, hit it down in the comment section down here. If you've got anything you'd like to learn about life here in China, let me know, because if I can't bring stuff to you, we can get in contact with people from the English Corner like Christy, we'll get in contact with other people who can help us find stuff that you're going to be interested in learning about. So yeah, hit us up in the comment section with ideas that you might have. Thanks for watching everybody, stay safe, and we will see you all in the next one. Cheers.